freshman All-American T. John Caroma. You joined us on the show before, T. John, but now you're in studio, yeah, man. I'm what do you think of Studio B? Actually with, actually, with the bros, like, this is a nice little place, nice little setup y'all got here. Let's lead with this. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Just wake up in the morning and uh, eat my Wheaties, and that's it. That's all it takes. Eat your taro, and you're good. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so between you and Taysom Hill last night, uh, both of you – had competitively snug fits in, yeah. your, in your tuxedos. <laughs> did you did you rip your suit last night, man? No, I was so careful because I really did not want to pay for that. I'll tell you what. But the thing is with Taysom, I think his was snug by choice. Like, if I could have a suit that fit me, I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> his his pants were excessively tight. Like, I've got my tight yeah. pants. <laughs> he, was, he was that guy. He was that guy. But, yeah, you guys looked great. And uh, you won Male Rookie of the Year. What did that mean to you to win that award last night? Man, that's a uh, no. It's an honor. That's a cool little title there, and uh, I'm excited about it. But I just gotta keep progressing from there. T. John Caroma with us on BYU Sports Nation. As you look back at uh, the Y Awards last night, obviously receiving award is a big moment. But what was your favorite moment overall from last night's uh, celebration? Um, definitely. I mean, when Devon got up there, that was really comedy. But Coach Hatawaya and uh, Brandon and Preston got up there. That was man. That made my night. And then he said, white chocolate, come up here. And I was, I was dying when he said white chocolate. That, that had me rolling. But, uh, no, that was, that was a good time. What did you think of Bronco's attempt at dancing? I, he was hitting it. He was, he was really hitting it. Like, he was doing his thing. Like, I was proud. I was impressed. He was in his own groove, right? <laughs> yeah. No, like, he like, went into another zone. Like, he had, like, his own version of the Nene, but it was, it was something. <laughs> he learned that in Corvallis in the 80s. <laughs> I, I give him credit for trying. No, for like, he get, got up on stage and he did all he could. Like, that's impressive. I'm impressed. That's why it's Coach Mendenhall. That yeah, was did, executed at a high level. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked to Kyle Collinsworth and had him critique uh, our our hosting last night of the Y Awards because we, we spend all year talking about, you know, what the athletes do and critiquing and analyzing. Mm. So we're going to give you the opportunity to, to uh, unfiltered nah. feedback <laughs> for Jerem and myself as the host of the Y Awards. How how'd we do, man? You know, uh, I think you guys did a great job, actually. Um, I was, I had a good time the whole time. There's a few moments when I was like, dang, that's kind of mean. Like, chill. Like, <laughs> ho- hopefully I don't get up on stage. But <laughs> no, but it was a good time for sure. It was, it was, it was really funny. It, you guys did great. Well, thank you. It's great to have you here, and uh, we appreciate you coming on. Because uh, you said nice things. You didn't say really mean <laughs> we'll, things. We'll do it again. Uh, what, what was the joke that you remember that didn't land where you were like, what? Do you remember anything? I'm not going to lie. There was a few of those, but, <laughs> but uh, no, I think it was definitely the Shaq, the Shaq one. I don't think, yeah. any, I don't think anybody got that except for yourself. But uh, You didn't even get it? No, but she kept on trying. I was like, you know what? Props to him for trying. <laughs> I was like, Shaq loves Kyle Collinsworth. Shaq, triple dog, triple dog king with Kyle Collinsworth. Yeah, yeah it did not work. I don't think that one was really hitting. It did not work. <laughs> Yet I went back to the well twice. You're right. Yeah, I was reaching. You gave it its due, you know, the due process. You <laughs> yeah. tried. What, 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 was the, what was the joke or, or jokes that stuck out? They were like, oh, that's good. Um, there was a few. But I really liked it when you guys point out, uh, pointed out Jake's little river dance. Okay. I thought that was so comedy. That, that was, was the biggest laugh of the night. The, Jake's river dance. Yeah, that one, that one was good. Our number and that one, wasn't us. That was our Jake. Our number one ranked <laughs> social video of uh, the BYU Sports Nation year. Okay, now let's talk about something that you can give us some insight into, okay. like real insight, some instead real. of trying to like, you know, search for compliments. <laughs> hey, T. John, tell us how great we are. Uh, let's let's We're talk really about let's talk about football right now after spring football. Mm-hmm. What's the status of the O line, man? How, how's the O line? The O line is uh they're looking great. I mean that first group is solid. They're all you know, all returning. Rikers, he's uh he's you know hurt right now, but once he comes back, he's gonna just make us even more solid. And then that second group is coming along. They're they're looking good. They've really progressed over the spring. And then, you know, if they take the summer seriously, get their bodies right and everything, then it's it's gonna be a great group. Led by Garrett Tujay, he seems to kinda kinda set the tone. And last night we uh we said that his doppelganger was Ron Perlman. Yeah. Is that on? No, that was actually perfect. Like I could, like you said, um, this one's Coach 2J and this one, and I wouldn't have known if you didn't point it out. <laughs> that was, that was actually, like if you didn't have the names underneath, I would have not known. He's And he's got a uh, Ron Perlman mentality in that he's he seems to lead this group with with the tenacity, and he likes to use the word nasty. But what what kind of coach is he for the O-line? He, uh, he 
the thing about Coach Tuj, he's so passionate about it, and he just wants us to be great, and he loves us so much. It's just it just makes us want to play better football just for him, just to make him proud. So I love playing for Coach Tuj because he's just he tries so hard for us that he makes us want to try that hard. You have an interesting position in that you play in a go fast, go hard offense. You are a freshman All American, so yeah, I mean you got thrown right into the fire. Mm. Now that you have a year of full experience under your belt, and you move forward into your sophomore season, uh, how do you feel like? You have gotten better, and, and what do you want to do specifically individually to get better? Uh, I mean, with that year b- behind me, it's e- it's so much easier to just look at, you know, start paying attention to, like, even the smaller details, like, where is the linebacker's feet at? Or, you know, where is this, you know, how is this defense lineman putting his hand down? Stuff like that, you know what I mean? When last year I had to look more at the big picture because, you know, I didn't grasp it as well. But now that, you know, I got it so down, it's just so easy to keep moving and going and uh, help out, you know, my bros and point out things for them to, to check out too. Are you a different player on the field than you are off the field? Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, I like to say I'm a nice guy, and I just like to have a little fun. But, uh, you know, I don't know. That's up for you to decide how I play. <laughs> Do you turn on, it does a switch go there's on definitely, when you go on the There's field? definitely a little switch that turns on, yeah. There's definitely. But, um, you know, I just have fun. That's all I do. Just have fun. Do you go through like a mental As process? Wakes. Yeah. <laughs> pa- hashtag pancake block. <laughs> is, there, is there like a mental thing that you go through where you're like, I'm going to make myself really angry right now? Like, do you think of things? No. As- you see, the thing is, I'm not angry. I'm just like, man, I'm excited to go have some fun. And okay. I mean, if having fun means, but, but fun means pushing what? a little longer than, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> how do you how do you maximize the protection of Taysom Hill this season? You know, it takes him. It's just if you do your job right, Taysom is going to make plays. So it's just you know knowing that he's back there inspires us to do our job right because all we got to do is you know do what we can, and Taysom he's he's going to do the rest. You know what I mean? So it's just uh, with Taysom back there, it 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 just makes us want to play better. How's your relationship with with him uh, both on and off the field? Is uh, you guys? I mean, the quarterback center is mm. is kind of a crucial relationship. Yeah. How is it? No, it really is. And uh, I mean, with Taysom. Uh, you know, I, it's a, it's an honor getting to play with him, and I admire his him as a football player. But even off the field, like he's a cool person. He's he's a cool guy. He's like you know he's one of the bros. I still say yes sir, no sir to him. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he, he he's definitely one of the bros. How's Frank Wintrick? How's that going? You know, Coach Wintrick is actually like my dude. Like like that's like like you know what I mean. If you ask him, he's like oh T John. But he knows he's my best friend too. And uh, <laughs> you know we're both from Texas, so we'll have to. Head home to Texas one time or something. I'll, I'll keep begging him about it. <laughs> T. John Karoma and the biggest arms in pro. <laughs> I hope you're right. I mean that that's just a fact, dude. Whether you like it or not, like, show me bigger arms in pro right now. <laughs> this guy who's a going to be a sophomore. Yeah. Hey man, congratulations bright. on rookie of the year. Appreciate it. We'll man. be talking Appreciate to you it. soon.